Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a huge Friday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Team of the Year is here. I want to talk about what cards are going to be in packs today with the first day of the Team of the Year promo, what sort of SBC and objective content that we might be expecting as well because of some of the leaks right that are out there and some of that content that we would expect to see today in those parts of the game and also talk about just what this day of FIFA is going to look like, some market predictions, and of course, some packs, right? Because you can't talk about Team of the Year without talking about lightning rounds, packs, especially as EA has given us so many packs to save up, whether it's the 81, 83, or 85 plus attacker packs. Since we're looking at attackers coming into packs today, we'll talk about that in just a second. That there's going to be a lot of packs open today just as people are going out and trying to potentially pack some of those big boy team of the year. So if you're excited for team of the year, of course, hit a thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you are new. Now, speaking of the attackers, right? I just mentioned that. What cards are going to be in packs today, right? What is everybody going to be chasing after for the first day of team of the year? It's going to be these three guys right here. EA, of course, showed us the team of the year yesterday. 97 Mbappe, 98 Lewandowski, and 98. Eight Messi. Those are going to be the three cards in packs today. Unless EA pull a surprise on us, these are going to be the only three team of the year items that are in packs. And then you're like, Nate, isn't that kind of an L? Well, this is how team of the year started last year as well. They dropped the attackers in packs. We had attacker cards and SBCs and objectives, and they kind of went a couple days for attackers. Then they took them out of packs. They released the midfielders for a couple of days, took them out of packs, put the defenders and goalkeeper in for a couple of days, pulled them out of packs, then the full team came in packs, and that's when everybody got excited. So unless EA changed something about how they're doing this, it really seems like today they, we are just going to get Mbappe, Lewandowski, and Messi in the actual game today on this game in packs. So there's going to be a lot of lightning rounds, a lot of saved up packs to be open because that's what today is really all about, right? Again, as I mentioned, this day is all about packs and saving up packs and trying to hit, you know, the big, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, right? The feeling of getting a team of the year. That's what everybody is trying to attain today on this game. So good luck if you're opening packs. The pack weight's going to be very, very small. There's going to be lightning rounds for days, tons of supply is going to be coming on the market today for only three cards in packs, right? Just mind you that unless EA changed something crazy about today, we're only going to have those three items in packs today. So I think that once we start talking about market stuff here in a bit, that those three cards being the only things in packs today, and since they're such a high tier, right? I mean, not everybody in the game has three, four, five million coins that you will need to buy some of these insane players today. There's going to be other parts of the market that move. So we'll get into that in a second. But I have to talk about one other thing. Since we know that these attackers are coming into packs today, then what was this other, other card design that was shown on the first loading screen that we had yesterday? Well, of course, you see the team of the year card design right here. But the one that is next to it, that is called, I believe, the team of the year honorable mentions card design. Now, this was the same card design they used last year when they released a couple extra cards in packs later in the week. I don't think we'll have any honorable mentions today unless EA is going to surprise us. But I think what we could see is maybe an SBC or objective card either today or tomorrow as an honorable mention. So don't think that we're getting like nominees. I really don't think that Team of the Year nominees is a thing this year. Of course, people remember FIFA 20, where they released all the nominees in packs for a short period of time. But I think that is actually just a car design for the honorable mentions that will be released um, in packs at a later date. Probably, probably when the full team is released next week into packs, those honorable mentions might uh, come out into packs as well. So that's going to be the pack content for today, right? It's going to be the three team of the year attackers. Now, one other thing that we might see, of course, EA Sports tweeted out the team of the year, the, those guys that had won, and a couple of big names were not involved, right? Cristiano Ronaldo, Mohamed Salah, and Kareem the Dream Benzema are a few of the players. Wow, this Ronaldo is still really low. That Those are a few of the players that are not in the official team of the year. So it is leaked that today we are going to see a 12th man vote start. Somehow they're going to do this in the game today. They might give us loan versions and say, hey, here's a player pick. Pick the loan version uh, that you want, whether you pick Salah 
Ronaldo or Benzema. That would be your vote. Or I don't know how else they're going to do this, but that's the way they've done it in the past. So watch out for that 12th man vote. And again, it is supposedly leaked that is going to be between going to be between Salah, Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo. So vote for whoever you think deserves to get a team of the year card and that player will get a team of the year card released later on in the promo um, with a team of the year boost. So I think we'll see 12th man votes start today. Usually it starts on the first day of the promo, but that's all the uh, pack content, right? Let's talk about SBCs because this is a pretty big SBC, especially for me as a fan of this man and a fan of this club. We have a leak here for a Harry Kane flashback and it says it is confirmed Harry Kane will be the first SBC of team of the year. It's a flashback to his 17-18 season, which he got a, a FIFA 18 team of the year with a big pace boost. Thoughts on the rating. Now, these are not confirmed stats, I'm pretty sure, but you remember uh, Harry Kane had a team of the year card back in FIFA 18, and this could be, I'm kind of getting flashback Benzema and flashback Icardi vibes. Uh, what they've done with this Harry Kane item and what it seems to be what they might be doing today is again, making a card that is usually not very hyped in FIFA because of the skills and the meta in FIFA. Um, you know, Harry Kane's more of a not as agile, not as fast turning, kind of just like, you know, get in the ball and he's going to shoot and hopefully score, right? Very high finishing, but not very pacey or agile. And they're going to make his card a little bit more meta, right? Same thing with the flashback Benzema and Icardi. Those got big pace boosts. I hope that the Kane SBC today gets a pace boost and also four star skills, also four star skills. I really hope that they do that. But I think this is the SBC that we will see today. Uh, again, it's an attacker, right? So everything I believe is going to be attacker related. We have attackers in packs. Sounds like we're going to have an attacker as an SBC. So this Harry Kane SBC could move the market a decent amount. I think this has this right here, the Kane SBC has the biggest potential to move cards on the game today. Now, a lot of links to this Harry Kane card have already risen in price. Like this Yunmin Sun was 280,000 coins. Right now, he's about 299, 300K, so he's up a little bit. People have been buying up cards that will potentially link to this Harry Kane, but it really comes down to the price of the SBC. If the price of the SBC today is very cheap, if it is very good value, then I will think you will see a lot of people with Premier League cards. They will go out and buy some of these cards like Lucas Mora or Hyunmin Sun or Premier League uh, English cards in general because a lot of people run Premier League cards and squads on this game. So today what something would be to watch is um, if the Harry Kane SBC is very well priced uh, and if the upgrade is very good, if the card looks good, right? I think you will see a lot of Premier League cards move higher later today on this market. That's just kind of one thing to watch out for. Again, it all depends on the price of the SBC. That's one thing to keep an eye on with this. But this is our leaked SBC for today. I'm very excited. I'm going to be doing this card regardless of the price as a Tottenham fan. So I'm a huge, huge fan of this. But one thing I also want to let you know about, and you may not remember this, but last year during Team of the Year, we had a flashback Ribery SBC on Team of the Year Friday, but there was a catch. EA released the SBC one and a half hours late. If you guys remember, during Team of the Year last year, they released all content like an hour and a half late, except for pack content and objectives. So last year, we had like the Suarez card that was dropped, and then we had the Flashback Ribery an hour and a half later. So just be mindful, if we don't see an SBC like this cane or like another SBC at 6 p.m. UK or whatever the content drop time is for you, it might be delayed. I don't know if EA is going to do that again, but during Team of the Year last year, that happens. So just a word of warning. So if you're if you don't see an SBC today, you're not super duper surprised and you're like, okay, let's check back in an hour or so. Just keep that in mind. So hopefully this is a big boy SBC today. I really hope that EA does this one right. They have a great opportunity here. Anyways, I'll stop my Harry Kane uh, love for Harry Kane and this car potential card that could be coming to the game. Let's talk about objectives. Now, this has been a leak for the past couple of days. This was the first team of the year leak that we had. Um, evidently, this is an objective Verde card, and he's getting this objective for some crazy goal that he scored uh, during the last year. Uh, from Spezia, it's an Italian right wing, 74 rated silver, getting a boost to an 89 rated. And here's where we might see this uh, team of the year moments card actually put into place right off the bat today um, for an objective player. That could be a really nice card as long as it's not super grindy and it doesn't require too many games and objectives. 
This could potentially be our objective player today. That was one of the earliest leaks that we had. So I would almost expect to see this today on this game. Now, again, as I mentioned, the 12th man vote is also probably going to be a part of today's content. CR7, Salah, and Benzema. I'm going to pick Salah here. What's the vote? Ooh, 46% say CR7 and 32% say Salah out of 34, almost 35,000 votes. So that's very interesting to see. But I would expect CR7 to win the 12th man vote if that is indeed the players that we see today on this game. Now, one other thing to point out, we did have some pack code added and it's very small and it's very hard to zoom in on. I already tried doing it, but uh, those 81 plus times 11 SBCs, those have been added to the code. 81 plus times 11 for attackers, midfielders, and defenders, all three. Kind of how we had the 81, 83, and 85 times three. We now have the 81 plus times 11 packs. Those are added to the code. And we also have an 83 plus attackers star players pack, which contains six attackers, one guaranteed to be rated 83 or higher. And those to me, since we've had star packs in the past, those have been added to the store. I think that, you know, like during the winter wild cards promo, we had 85 plus and 86 plus star players packs. I believe that those 83 plus attacker defender midfielder packs would be available through the store through lightning rounds today, potentially. So just kind of keep the watch out for that um, as those might be a part of the lightning rounds that we see today on this game. So that's kind of all the content that I think we will see. Now let's talk about the market, right? Because today, again, as I mentioned, it's going to be a day for guys with millions of coins, right? Guys like myself having almost 9 million coins. You know, if I had all my coins ready and liquid and ready to go, then I could go out on the market today. They haven't added the team of the year card design yet here into the uh, the quality search section. But, you know, if let's say Mbappe is like 8, 9 million coins today, a lot of the content on a team of the year Friday like this is, you know, kind of curated towards those guys with a lot of coins to buy the new team of the years off the market as they're very, very, very expensive, right? So if you're somebody that doesn't have that many coins, I think there's plenty of potential to A, buy cards that are still gonna be cheap today and B, make a lot of coins because what you're gonna have is so many people are gonna open their saved up packs that they have been waiting and saving today to open before team of the year comes out and of course, when they maybe uh, don't pack anything insane, maybe they go do the Harry Kane SBC, maybe they don't, uh, they're probably going to go back out on the market and buy some cards because a lot of people, when they open packs, they go back out on the market and buy cards because they have gotten a lot of coins, right? The quick sell value that they attain from packs and selling those players on the market, but specifically that quick sell value, right? With the amount of lightning rounds that are going to be opened, that's just so many coins coming into people's accounts as they open lightning rounds or as they open saved up packs, tradable ones especially, on this game. So I think that the market has a huge potential to rise today unless EA drops something crazy. A preview pack could cause a little bit of panic. That's something that we haven't talked about and haven't seen in a hot minute. But a preview pack could potentially make some cards uh, drop today with some panic. But one thing I would I would seriously watch you, tell you guys to watch out for, and as I'm looking at the market right now, I see some prices that are pretty low. Nicolo Barella, uh, this guy was like 360,000 coins yesterday. Right now, he is 334. He has dropped off a decent amount. So I'm not entirely sure if there's anything behind this or if it's just some panic selling heading into uh, today's promo. But I would watch out for some of your really, really popular cards from recent promos. Like we've been talking about, some of your investments that you guys could be making today, um, you know, this is definitely on, especially under under 1 million coin range for a lot of these cards. People that aren't going to be able to afford team of the years today, you know, they're going to be looking out on the market um, with the new coins that they have, even if it's a million coins to upgrade their team. So what I would really watch out for today on the market are cards that you might be able to buy that would rebound back up. And I honestly do think that there will be a nice sizable rebound on some of your most meta, most popular cards on this game after the promo this evening. Now, some cards have already started to rise up, right? So like an Anthony Martial, you know what? I would almost consider selling a card like this right now. He's 590K. He was 530K in the absolute lowest of the panic just a couple days ago. But, you know, I think cards like these winter wild cards uh, could be very, very, very good risers today on the market, depending on what the content is. And again, if you want to know what are some of the most hyped and meta cards on the market, 
uh, just go to the, the Flipin popular page, right? We've been talking about this all week. This is the part of the market that's going to move the most. Now, of course, you see the team of your cards that are here with no stats because Flipin is not leaking the stats, although we already have them for Mbappe, Messi, and Lewandowski. Um, you know, take a look at some of these items, right? Maybe Nia Kate as a French center back, very popular with the French links right now, right? Uh, let's see, Alessandrini, a French striker. You know, Chow Many as an inform out of packs that is down from what he was earlier in the week. That's a very cheap, but a very good option, right? Some of your icons might rebound really well today, depending on how expensive some of the team of the year prices are. So seriously, look at some of these cards that are on this popular page. Look at some of their graphs and say, man, uh, which one of these are going to be rebounding today as people get coins from opening packs and then go out and play weekend league. I really think that, you know, some of these team of the year boosts that we're evidently going to be seeing, uh, you know, no 99 rated team of the years in the team of the year team. That's a bit of a bummer, right? I think people would say that that's, you know, a bit of an unfortunate thing. It's two years in a row now that we haven't seen 99 rated cards. And last year, if you remember on the team of the year Friday, I mean, people were not very happy. People were like, man, team of the year kind of sucks. Of course, at the content drop, we didn't have the Ribery SBC, so people didn't see that. But after people open all the packs that they want to pack open today, uh, then I really think there's a big potential for this market to rebound. And if people view the only three cards coming into packs, there's nothing for me. Maybe the Kane SBC is a little overpriced or the card doesn't look good enough or people don't want to do it. Then I do think that you will see a lot of the market rebound, specifically in some of the areas where, you know, um, P prices have been up recently, right? You think about League One, you think about Premier League links as so many people, French links as well. So many people have done this Kloss card, right? Or even a guy like some icons or Zlatan. Zlatan has dropped down from, you know, he was 2.7 mil before the market crash really started to happen for team of the year. He was down in the 2.3 range. So if there's low cards today that are very popular and very meta again, I think you will see some of those rebound on this game today. It's something to really, really, really keep an eye out for. And I think it's going to happen. It happened last year and I think it's going to happen this year as well. So rarity, popularity, and how meta the card is in game. All those three things combined, as we always talk about on this channel, there's definitely going to be some prices going up today on the market. So watch out for that. Also, watch out for the store. This is going to be kind of, you know, some of you guys that watch and don't open lightning rounds and you kind of look at the, the store and just see, uh, you know, how many lightning rounds they're going to put out today. I believe last year on team of the year, like you might see 250,000 packs released for a lightning round. It's going to be absurd. The number of lightning round packs that they released today, and they're going to sell out because it's team of the year. And that's just crazy to see. So definitely watch the store today. It's going to be a lot of stuff in there. So that's kind of, you know, what to expect for team of the year today, to be completely honest. It really comes down for me today. It comes down to how good the objective content is. And especially it comes down to how good the SBC content is because people are going to go out, they're going to open packs. And then after that, if there's nothing else to do, they're going to go buy cards that they maybe need for their team to play weekend league. So that's really how I think the market could rebound today. Um, and that's why I think that you could see a great opportunity. Now I've actually bought a decent amount of cards myself. As you see, I don't have many coins at the moment. Um, you know, I got some Hollands at the low 400s. I got this Bruno at 455 when his team of the week was released. I bought an Nkunku. I have a couple Teo Hernandez still from when he was in packs. You know, I've got a random assortment of so just some random special cards here, right? Stuff that I think is hype, that is rare, that is meta, uh, that has already gone up. I'm already making some coins as Holland, you know, was 420K when I bought him. And now he's like 450, 60,000 coins. You know, I could potentially see this Holland today going back up almost to 500K because he's a very, very strong card in this game. People love to use him. And uh, yeah, I just could see that, that stuff happening today. So that's where I would look on the market specifically today on this game. But again, make sure you have fun, right? I know some of you guys may be like, man, this promo is not going to be hype for me because I don't like spending money on packs. And today is all about packs and packs and packs and, you know, opening packs and trying to pack a team of the year. Yes, it really is. But if you also look at just a normal promo Friday sense of things, there's going to be a lot of movements on the market today. There's going to be a lot of ways where if the Harry Kane SBC is very good, then you're going to see plenty of people go out and buy cards. Like Raheem Sterling would be a great option. He's already up. Wow. 340 is 350. Wow. This Raheem Sterling is up a decent amount. Um, but if you see panic selling today, which I think you'll see a little bit of selling on the market 
heading into the content drop today. Look out for some of those Premier League cards that could rise later into the night as people maybe go try out a new Harry Kane if he is indeed the SBC player. And if it's not Harry Kane, then, then maybe people go and try out whoever links to that brand new SBC card uh, if it's a very, very good item. So that's the number one thing that I would watch out for on the market today. Keep a watch on your headliners as well. Um, you know, not just Serge Gnabry. I have a couple of these that I bought at 175K. But just keep an eye out on the market today um, because after people open their packs, they feel very comfortable buying. So that's why I, I really feel confident that unless EA surprises us with something today, uh, then, you know, there is going to be a market ride. That's why I feel very, very confident in that. But it's an exciting day because it is team of the year day today. I cannot wait to get ripping on some of these packs that I have worked so hard this year to make coins, to build up coins, to be able to have big pack openings and have a lot of fun during these promos. So we're going to be ripping a lot of these 81 pluses today on the stream. If you guys want to get involved, we'll be live during the content drop. Make sure you check that Twitch link down below in the description. But that's team of the year, boys. Team of the year warm-up series was fun, gave us a lot of packs, and today we begin the rip. Now, if you want to save your packs for when the whole team of the year is out, it's probably going to be like another five to six days, maybe even a full week. I commend that, and I'm saving a lot of my packs. The only packs that I'm opening today are going to be the attacker specific packs and i might not even be able to get to my 85 plus or whatever ones because the first 30 packs that it shows me here are all the attackers with some defenders as you can see it's like split half and half so i'm just going to be opening 81 plus attacker packs today hopefully something crazy happens and we can snag ourselves an mbappe Lewandowski, or messi but chances are that we won't and we'll just get some good fodder and craft some sbc so that's what today is all about though it's going to be fun it's going to be a mad fun time so make sure you check out that twitch link and of course if you're hyped for team of the year drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out